Well, we found one of your first casting shots. Let's put it up here. This, this is like rock and roll. Like this is like, is this your Joan Jet The Cure? Uh, there's so many things happening. I love it. So, did you get any work from these shots? So, <laughs> look, my agent at the time was like, "We need some pictures." I was like, "Sure." You know, I was like rolling with whatever people were telling me. I was like, "This is going to be great." Obviously, I wasn't auditioning to be in boy bands at the time, so it didn't help me get any work. Uh, but I got to use the um, sauna at the hotel, so I got like a nice spa day from it. I think you look cool. I think from that picture, though, I was like, I would have pegged you as a musician, not an actor. <laughs> I was like, she definitely played. Yeah, but also, I sent a selfie to someone yesterday, and they were like, oh, I thought that was Harry Styles. <laughs> Well, he's gorgeous, see? You're even pretty yes. boy. So you don't actually have the force, or maybe you do and you're hiding it. Um, but is it true <laughs> that you do have a witchy sense? Yes, people say I have uh, witchy senses. I'm quite, uh, I think they call them USP, ultra sensitive person, right? Um, I tend to be able to read people's moods quite well, to a point that people comment on it often. Oh, you're an empath. Like you're kind of yeah, but, yeah. I, but I think everyone sort of is if they were open to it. I just think I'm quite watchful, so I notice things. Uh, but yes, an empath, I guess. Yeah. I I am like that. That's why everybody makes fun of me because I cry a lot, and I'm like, I feel what everyone's feeling. Like if someone's nervous, yeah. if someone is angry, yeah. if someone, I am like a sponge for people's feelings. So I, and I think it's kind of nice because you. I don't know, I think it makes you an empathetic person so you can put yourself in someone's shoes easily, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it's kind of, ex it's exhausting, so, yeah. It is exhausting, and I think on the question of the chaos walking too, like, I already find it tiring enough when I'm, like, dealing with my own neuroses, as we all have, and then, like, you're picking up on other people's moods and you're being affected by that. Like, if you were to have that next level and hear people's thoughts, mm -hmm. like, that's heavy. I, I don't want that on my shoulders. Yeah. Was there ever a moment like you felt like it was too much when you were around someone and you were like, ooh, you, you could feel it so much that you just had to like tell them? Hmm. I don't think so. But I will tell you that on the subject of um, senses, because it's not just senses with other people, there was this joke that I went whale watching and I went, <laughs> and a whale came out of the sea. What? I'm not joking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. so one time I was on a safari in Africa and it was like our yes. first time and we were in the truck and we literally headed out the gates in uh, Sabi Sands and Kruger National Park and, and I was like, cue the lion. Like literally within like five minutes, I spotted yes. a female lion that led us to like a whole pride of lions with baby lions, little cubs. And then they stole an Impala's food. And I was like, that was rude, but whatever. Um, but no, I, I've done something like that. That's amazing, though. So you're kind of like yeah. Nemo as yeah. well. You do have superpowers. Yeah. I like it. Um, well, since you're from London, I have to ask you um, about, you know, British pub life. I love a British pub, by the by. Um, but have you ever worked at the pub? Yes, I've worked at two. Yeah. One not so fun, uh, was a bit of a drag. The second really enjoyed it and they had a five pound burger on a Wednesday. So it was always great because we always got a burger when we were working. That's amazing. That's a big burger. That's very Texan of you.